Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the floating head of Simon TV. Uh, so the judgment is in. Former Green Party MP Golriz Garriman has been convicted of stealing from high-end fashion boutiques and fined uh, $1,600 plus court costs. Ms. Garriman was relaxed in court, uh, as she has been throughout the proceedings, smiling, laughing with her supporters, exchanging kisses and cuddles with the sympathetic, friendly, vestigial media. She did seem shocked when the decision was handed down, however, as did her defence counsel, Annabelle Presswell, appearing across video conference. I think Ms Creswell, if she had her time again, would have uh, altered the submission that she made in Ms Garman's defence on Monday. Uh, the, the judge, uh, Judge Jealous, took into account many aspects of Ms Garman's life in reaching her decision and that conviction. Um, that uh, she has... Um, that she has performed in the past um, significant community service and pro bono work. Uh, she took into account that reparations had been paid in full by Miss Garriman to the affected boutiques and an apology given to one of them. Uh, she took into her into account Ms. Garriman's mental health and we can all wish for her to have the best result with that. Uh, and also letters of support from the community and organisations that Ms Garriman has been involved with. Two of those that particularly stuck out were one from Mike King and another from the Criminal Bar Association. Those are letters of support. Uh, the judge also made reference to some ludicrous aspects, in my opinion. Uh, for instance, the provably false assertion that during her time as a Member of Parliament, Ms Garriman's uh, security requirements were equivalent to that of the Prime Minister, which is provably false. Another interesting comment she made was that she considered the fact that media had camped outside Ms Garriman's home for a period of almost three weeks when these allegations first surfaced was equivalent to serving a period of community detention because Ms Garriman had to keep her windows closed and her shades drawn to avoid being photographed. Uh, Ms Garriman scurried out the back door of the court at the end of proceedings and didn't offer a, a statement to assembled media. She didn't need to, of course, because the full court public relations press with friendly media has been in full swing today, with the likes of John Campbell releasing a nauseatingly sympathetic pre-recorded interview even before proceedings had concluded. In my opinion, the establishment was embarrassed into delivering a tiny amount of justice in this case, by public attention, and from dogged reporting from the likes of Philip Crump at Newstalk ZB+. So I, th I think the New Zealand public should, should take a bow here. She may have escaped a reasonable punishment, but Green Party MP Golruz Garriman is now a convicted thief. A conviction she deserves that the establishment didn't want her to have. Thanks to all of you. Thank you for tuning in to Simon TV. See you next time.